stopping me now. There you go. Let's keep keep rolling. You're ready for I have no idea what to expect now. I, I've forgotten so much of this. And I've played this since I was a kid. Don't tell me you're not playing. Ready? You're ready. I'm ready. Cool. Well, I'm back already. I just, uh, I, if you're watching this on YouTube, I did this literally right after I finished uh, NBA Courtside because I realized, well, I'm on the next game. The next game is going to be Goemon. And I've been looking forward to playing Goemon uh, since I got it. Since I got it in, like, pretty much right in the middle of when I was really going hard and collecting all the, all the games. Um, so it's not like you got to start it right away or anything like that. Um, this game is, from what I remember and from what I hear and everything, is just fantastic. Um, I played this when I was a kid at a friend's house. Uh, and it's one of the games that I'll say we never had uh, a controller pack to save it with. So, we, it's kind of like when I, I had a similar thing happen to me when I had Jack and Daxter on the PS2 for the first time and didn't have a memory card. Um, I'm gonna kind of have to pay attention to this cutscene, but I'm just thinking about like... Cool. These two dudes. What's going on and I don't know what the other guy's name is. He has some kind of name. Uh, I really just wanted to get this started so I can... Started off. No, oh, he's gonna have a different name. Yeah, he took off. Yeah. What? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is why we didn't. Live. This is why we don't get these games. That's fair. Yeah, he worries me a little bit. Uh, so when I was a kid, uh, I played this game with a friend, and we didn't have a controller pack to save it with, so there's a lot more to this game than we ever experienced, but what happened was, um, we would kind of assume that the, the first giant robot fight, basically, that was kind of like our end game, that was our finish line. Uh, I had the same thing when I was a kid and I was playing Jack and Daxter. The first area, the first like section of world before you get on to the, the next one with the next set of levels. Uh, that was kind of like my finish line to the game. Like For a long time I would just assume like, oh that's got to be all there is because I can't save and it was my fault I couldn't save or my parents fault or something like that because we didn't have a memory card. Um, but same thing with this, like, there's a whole, like, probably 75% at the very least of this game that I've never seen before. Uh, because I played it as a kid, but I've only ever, like, even when I was six, seven years old, I only ever made it to that point right there. That, that, like, first giant robot fight finished it, and then I probably got my ass kicked immediately after that. And that was it. No, no controller pack. Just go back to the beginning, like, well, fuck that. Um, but for the most part, like, every, everything I've ever seen from Goemon is supposed to be great. Um, I have the second one on the Super, Super Famicom. Um, it's tough to play in Japanese, but it's, it's really good. It's a good 2D platformer. It's got that little bit of, like, River City Ransom, where you have a little bit of RPG elements, you buy stuff, you buy items, and you're on your way. This is a full 3D game, though, and this is kind of what really excites me about it, more so than uh, Goemon's Great Adventure is the second one of these, uh, and it's the more traditional, it's the 2D, uh, the 2D style of game. But this is, this is, as far as I know, this is the only full 3D game that they did. Um... I know on the Super Famicom there's a, there's four main series games. I think there's like a party one too. 
All right. A to jump. B to hit people with a stick. Uh, you can't go in there. All right, let's just uh, let's exit. Or oh, that's the door. Sure. All right. Nope. Uh, okay. Down C will change between two characters. Z gets me on the ground. This coin. This map. Nope. Okay, I have to be right in front of him. Then just press A. Of course it was A. I just want a heading. That's really all. But uh, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Right, right season. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, who the fuck are you? You stole my money! You bastard, get back here! That motherfucker. You swipe my cash. Son of a bitch. Well, let's go this way. You, you. Look out for guys that look like that, I guess. Fortune dollars. Okay. Yeah. Save? Yeah, cool. Awesome. So, like an RPG, you save and end. Good to know. No, I don't, I don't need anything else. And, however, that is the only thing really you do in here. An item. It would be good if they have, like, health potions and stuff. That'd be cool. That's probably what I need. Yes. What is that going to do? Not that I can afford the other things, but three attacks. Okay. Nope. Yeah. No. Alright, I'm guessing that the armor has more attacks? Five attacks. Okay. I'm good for now. I have hearts. Doggo. What? Jesus. To be fair, if I had a UFO and I saw a dog, that would be the first thing I would have done. I want people. Fucking dogs. Oh, that's the way I came from. Have video cameras. This does not seem like uh, a period, uh, a period item that we would have. But sure, you should have, you should have done that. Heck! Wow! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! People using heck non-ironically in 1997, 1998 rather. You, you. Who's that fucker who stole my money? Bash on the fucking face. Oh, okay, so uh, I think this is where I'm supposed to go then. Let's just say. Little castle. You. Oh no! To be continued in the dialogue box. Jesus Christ. Oh, things I can hit. Right? I assume? No? Hold on. Big ol' hammer! Uh, look at his fucking face. Cool. 
don't know why my assumption was that Goemon might be a little bit better at... Yeah. I'm not going down there. This is probably not the way to go. Alright, let's go back this way. My assumption is I need to fix the bridge. I can go over there. There's probably nothing to do over there. Ah, there you are, you bastard. Yeah, so I think this just goes around. I wish I'd gotten that fucking money back. This is an inside place. Where do I go? Where are you in here? Hi. Yeah? Okay, so I need some kind of item from a different place. Alright, I have a little bit of a better heading now. So let's bring up the map over right here. Let's go this way. I think this. Uh, I think I came out from this way, so I'm gonna go right here. No. Hello. Good to know. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm here to stop trouble. When trouble gets the bridges out, this seems appropriate. Good luck with that. Hi. Why? Hello. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Sure. That's what they told me to do. Yeah. Cool. Good to know. So, yeah, I go this way. That's actually what I was planning to do. Damn it, he took my money. He took my money and sent me on the same way I was going. Is it that person? Fuck you. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. That's probably a health item. Oh, I wish this stick had a longer reach. That is painfully short. I think the other guy probably has the same, same, same reach, right? Yeah, that is mad short. Ah, fuck you. Yep, health item. Alright, cool. Is this the way I wanna go? Ah, what the fuck is that? Fucking projectiles in here? Stop. Ah! I mean, it's, it's weird when you, if you get good with the short reach item, because then if I, if I get something else later on that has actually really, like, a better reach, I feel like overkill. It's weird when games do that. I think it, I, I really do think that's weird when, when games start you out with a really, like, this absolutely shit item. So when I, I mean, I know I'm going to be facing stronger enemies and shit, but, like, when I, when I get up to bigger items, I'm going to be too good for it. It's weird. Weird progression that games yeah. use like that. Anything I can do. Oh, 
platform there. Did I go around entirely the wrong way? Oh, is that a fucking... Oh, there's a ladder here. I don't even know if I would've seen that. Cool. Platforming. Let's get up this mountain. Let's climb the tallest mountain in the world. In the first level. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if I'm supposed to jump over that gap or go up here. You ha! 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 One thing I do, I do kind of like the music. The music's pretty good right now. It's lively. It's got a good amount of instruments on it. It's not, it's not too repetitive. It's good adventure music. Aha! Aha! Nick, both of you. In here. Oh god! Big fucking slinky! That's what that is! Go! It's a big slinky! At some point, I'd, I'd like to be able to feel like I can jam the camera in myself. I was not a fan of that one when I came out and there was a boulder came down in front of me. I feel like I wouldn't have been able to see it. Yeah. But it takes, that took way too long to change. Not this time. Do I get the thing from you? Do I have, you have a pipe? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Cool. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like Zelda. You get the you, first thing you do is you need to get items to go to the next place. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, cool! Ah, I should not have done that. Okay, so that is a pipe, and that thing he just gave me is a chain pipe. That's what I'm talking about with the uh, the longer reaching items, longer reaching weapons. Nice. Ah, they fucking fell. Uh. That is not, that is not good. Okay. Hey, you just keep doing that forever. Ooh, oh, okay. Cool, I'll just slide down. That's it, okay. Aha. Alright, so that was a express lane down, but I would have not known that because of the camera angle. Good.
think, uh, I think we'll go back to where the bridge is supposed to be. Down here. Actually, let's, uh, let's... Son of a bitch. Give me a fucking health item. that way. Have we got to use this? No, I guess not. Okay, so yeah, I have to be one one to use that. That's, that's actually interesting, though, because that means that in the future there will be other items that the other characters can use that going on can't. So that's, that's a good way to, to use that. Aha, uh -huh, fuck you. It's actually hard to use in combat because you you keep expecting your range straightforward gets better, but that doesn't mean that the angle you can use gets any better. You still have to be like right on top of this. What the fuck? All right, help me. Where are the health items? You had nothing but health items before when I didn't need them. What's in this house? For the love of God, help me. I? No. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Exactly what I came in here for. All good with that. And right to use the map. Ah! Is this one? It literally just made it harder to fight. I guess I answered my own question about the whole, uh, what happens when I get better weapons thing. It's like, yeah, you start to rely on the fact that, that they have better range, but then you can't, you can't, uh, get the angle for it. Where are all the fucking health items they had on my way up here? Just for the record, little man. Nah, nah. Just for the record, little man. It's not that hard to climb. You can probably get up there easy. Right, go back this way. Maybe this way. Over the bridge. Oh, okay, I see. Unless I don't see. Um, okay, it can reach there. Awesome. Coins, money, awesome. Big, narrow, curly bridge. Jump. Okay. Wonder if there's gonna be a place where I can save before. Uh, 
time. Yes! Awesome. Okay, cool. Yep. So that's where we're gonna leave off today. I learned mechanics. I learned the style of how things are laid out, which is really cool. I'm very excited to be playing this game. I don't know how many more uh, things I'll do because I don't really know how long the game is. But uh, this is cool. Uh, I've been looking forward to this game for a long time and I, I had to jump right on it as soon as I knew that it was uh, the next one up. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, check out more Mystical Ninja coming up another time.